reducible interest in the sequence uh, application now we've got a loan of four thousand dollars that we're going to pay back 350 monthly but meanwhile interest at 1.25 percent per month is being added so let's swipe over into sequence and start off now everything's black here otherwise we do an edit clear all as usual um let's see now we need to put in our recursive formula to begin with so um we'll because uh, we've starting from term zero the this is the ideal way to begin uh the next term is the one before and we want to multiply that by 1.0125 to take into account the 1.25 per month interest then we need to subtract our repayment of 350 dollars and tap execute which ticks the box here and puts us onto the next line where we can enter the initial loan amount of four thousand dollars and tap execute there um now we want to work out how many payments here so i'm guessing because it's four thousand three fifty that's about 11 uh, months to repay this so let's allow for 15 iterations so we'll set up the range window to go from zero the first month to 15 in at the end we might have gone overboard but we never kind of quite know so we've set the table um, input there and now we just tap on to the create a table and see what's going on so when i tap resize you can see here it's actually been repaid by the uh, end of the 13th month we still owed 141 after 12 but then we paid back too much during the 13th month to actually do the kind of calculations that often get asked on these types of questions there's a handy little run window up here if I tap onto this icon it opens up a window up here and we can transfer numbers from down here upstairs now the final payment um, in this case should be $350 less the $206.33 so $206.33 which is $143.67. Um, the total that we've repaid, well, we've made 12 regular payments of uh, $350 plus this final payment here. So let's add that on and tap execute. So there's the total amount repaid. And then to work out the total amount of interest, we simply subtract our initial loan amount from the total that we repaid, the 4,000. So we've calculated the total interest as well. So that's a nice place to do that. And when we're finished in here, we can simply tap the cross in the top right corner and um, return to the main part of the sequence. Now, it's also possible to determine the amount of interest paid in any particular month. Say, for example, the... Um, the fourth month here um, all we want to do is start in the upstairs window here and tap on the drop down arrow here and choose the difference and um, this adds an extra column to the table when we come down to the fourth one here if there was no interest the uh, difference would always be 350 but because uh, of interest it's not quite going down by 350 dollars so the amount, uh, the difference of 350 and 311.39, as down in the bottom here, let's take a copy of that, uh, is due totally to the interest. So let's open up that uh, run window again, and we'll type in 350, and I'm just going to paste in that number which we copied. Now we don't need all the little bits and pieces, so we'll delete that off and tap execute. And so that must have been the interest for the um, fourth month.